everybody. Welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we're going to be talking about photogrammetry and how you can use nothing more than just a simple digital camera and some software to create some really, really nice 3D models. Uh, my name is Eugene Lisho. I'm a 3D forensic analyst, and I've been using photogrammetry for years now. Uh, I've been teaching it. I've been using it in my casework. And I really believe that photogrammetry is an amazing technology because it allows you to do so much with very, very little. So overlap is really important because a photogrammetry software can only reconstruct what is common in multiple images. So if you have um, a photograph, but there isn't any overlap of that particular item in other images or can't see it in the other images, it doesn't get reconstructed. And so let me give you an example of that in a, uh, a little video here. So I'm going to play, uh, this is something that uh, I was at a, uh, uh, a yard where I was doing an inspection on a vehicle and I had this uh, interesting uh, truck that was here with some damage. So I just took my uh, phone, took some pictures very quickly, maybe a dozen photos or so, and reconstructed the model. So it looks pretty cool, but what you'll notice is that there's some missing things here. So up on the top uh, over here, you know, I had some missing uh, data. Uh, over here, you'll see there's some little patches that are missing, little holes and that sort of thing. And that has to do with not taking enough photos and not having enough overlap in these areas. And as a result, I'm missing some data. So if I had to go back and do this again, uh, probably what I would do is take photos in a ring-like fashion. So I'll just pause it here, but basically going around above and below. And then even on the inside, like if you're down at the center of this particular uh, rim here, what you want to do is point the camera upwards and get the underside here of the rim. And that's really what's happening. I'm missing some really, really important data here. Uh, so those are the types of things that I want to make sure that I, that I get. Another thing is if you're photographing a person's face, uh, it's very common for people to sort of photograph horizontally from left to right and capture all this, you know, uh, all these different perspectives, which is great. But what everybody forgets is this part under here, just under the chin. So a good way to capture that is to photograph this way and then photograph from the top and then come down so that you got a few overlapping images uh, underneath the chin and the neck area. And then you'll be able to fill that in. Otherwise, when you create the model and you lift, sort of turn it upwards, you're going to see just a hole or a patch here. Um, now, sometimes the photogrammetry software will try to you know, they have algorithms where we'll try to fill that in, but you won't have any texture and you won't have accurate geometry whenever you fill in a hole. 